Welcome to America to informative news all day. Tonight the topic of discussion will be budget cuts in education. We will be focusing on budget cuts that are directly affecting kindergarten through 12th grade students and also students seeking a higher education. We will also analyze what politicians are saying about the issue and how they intend on helping it. With, what I turn, with this I turn over to my colleague with informative news. Thank you for the introduction. And now we focus on a rising important issue, budget cuts on the educational level that are affecting children in America. Reporting live from the Santa Ana School, we, we are um, in a room that is currently under um, construction because we are facing leaks right here in the, in the school room. Um, because of budget cuts, we haven't been, they haven't been able to um, completely uh, re redo this room, so as so it's completely blocked off. Um, dating back in February of 2009, legislation passed a 17-month budget plan with intentions of closing a 40 billion dollar shortfall. K through 12 schools took the hardest hit, estimating a total of 8.6 billion dollars in spending reductions. In July of 2009. 2009 updates were made to the bill passed in February including another six billion in cuts to K through 12 schools and another three billion to higher education. The bill was passed by Arnold Schwarzenegger four days after it was proposed. We're forgetting that although there are budget cuts in 12 um, kindergarten through 12th grade um, schools, President Obama has passed a hundred billion dollar stimulus plan for United States public schools in 2009, did he not? You are correct. But most of that money did not go towards saving teachers' positions. Instead, the money went towards filling the budget deficit that was already being produced, and also towards technology, equipment, and school repairs. During the 2010-2011 school year, an estimated more than 100,000 educational jobs had been cut, and students were expecting more crowded rooms, dysfunctional computers, and longer lists of classroom supplies that parents are asked to bring in. While money from the $100 billion, the $100 billion stimulus plan was in effect, money cut from state and local budgets were adding up. Need I remind you that during the fall of 2011 semester, budget cuts in the higher education, specifically in the UC system, reached an additional $100 million in cuts, adding to the budget cuts already made in recent years. With the cut in higher education, a 9.6% hike in tuition fees soon come after. Student tuition rose to $1,818. Finally, in March of 2012, 8 out of 10 districts still say that they are not being funded with enough money to meet requirements, and most say that they expect a decrease in state and local revenues. Without a doubt, budget cuts continue to affect K through kindergarten through 12th grade, and there seems to be no relief from budget cuts quite yet. In conclusion, college uh, costs such as tuition, room and board, and textbooks continue to rise. Students regretfully anticipate smaller class sizes and less chances of getting classes that they need to graduate. Students are forced to decide where they can actually spend their money um, when all they wish for is just a better education. Shifting our focus, let's begin, let's begin to look at the viewpoint of both Mitt Romney and Mr. President Barack Obama as they have very distinct views in education reform. Mr. President Barack Obama focuses on raising standards by 46 states for college and career readiness. He also hopes to hire an additional 100,000 math and science teachers over the next decade. Obama hopes to double the Pell Grant and cap the repayments of federal students loans of a 10% of income. He intends to invest $2 billion in community colleges as well. In conclusion, Barack Obama has gone far lengths to repeal the No Child Left Behind law which has shown to be more restrictive towards students. Looking at Mitt Romney, he seems to have an opposing viewpoint than that of his opponent. Mitt Romney focuses on reforming the No Child Left Behind law and investing more money into charter schools. Mitt Romney feels that some students seem to be trapped in bad schools, feeling like there is no other option. Mitt Romney feels Romney feels those other options are charter schools and digital schools. He hopes to expand the, the DC Opportunity Scholarship, which would give scholarships for students to attend private schools. Mitt Romney feels rising tuition is due to a flood on federal dollars and hopes to increase the profit colleges to fix these problems. Ultimately, budget cuts in the nation are continuing to affect both K-12 and higher colleges. As K-12 grades face budget cuts, it is seen in supplies, decrease of teachers, and in class size. When the higher education system is influenced by budget cuts, it seems to affect the student directly. The student is given higher tuition, textbooks, and room and board fees while also facing inability to, 
be in classes that they need. Presidential nominees Mitt Romney and Barack Obama have very different viewpoints on how to go about the budget cuts toward education and which programs are necessary. For those who are transferring from the K-12 system to receive a higher education, budget cuts will have a different form of toll than before.